If you follow me on any of my social media, you're probably familiar with my cats, ham and cheese. But if you've been following me on social media for longer than a year, you know that I used to have a cat, Mr. Kitty. This is Mr. Kitty. Anyways, in today's video, we are going to be making art using the help of Mr. Kitty in a way. Gosh, how do I say this? I mean, it is in the title. You, you know what we're doing here. Let's just get into it. We are painting with my cat's ashes. Oh my God. Here we go. All right. So this is our art supply for today. Let's just see what we've, uh, what we've working with in here. Oh gosh. Um, I feel like for the sake of some of you, I am going to blur this because I'm sure this is a hard video to watch if you are watching it, but we're doing this in memory of, of Mr. Kitty, so. Well, y'all know what we do here. Um, let's, let's get to swatching our art supply, AKA my cat, let's swatch my cat. So here is our, oh gosh. And here is our art supply. Oh God, oh. Again, I'm going to censor that because I feel like that's um, probably hard for a lot of y'all to see. Not that it probably makes this situation any better, but here we go. All right, I'm just going to add a little bit of water to the substance and here we go. Okay, it's not really disintegrating, but we are getting some particles mixing in with the water. I'm gonna add a little bit more water. Oh my God, I think I'm going to have to like pour the color out. Oh God, I think I have to strain this. I have to strain my cat. Um, pour its liquid contents. All right, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch uh, whatever it is we're working with here. Oh, okay, it's not very pigmented. But it does have a nice gray color. I think that is honestly perfect for painting a portrait of Mr. Kitty. I wonder how it layers though. Let's see. I'm going to do a strip and I'm just going to keep letting it dry and then adding layers. It'll be really good to know how I can layer this uh, art supply and uh, how dark I can go. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna go, um, we're just gonna jump over to 10. You can see how a lot of pigment at the top was where the tip of the brush was. So I feel like that's actually pretty dark to start off with with one layer. I think it dried a lot darker. Looking at our gradient, I'm actually kind of surprised at the difference. I thought that was really dark, but I guess it, sort of got watered out. Anyway, moving on to our second layer, adding a third layer, our fourth layer, our fifth layer, and here we are after 10 long layers. There's an obvious difference between the first five, but I think once you hit six, sure you can tell it's a lot darker right here, but I don't feel like there's a big enough difference where it's worth doing 10 because it takes so long to dry. There's not much else testing to do, so I'm gonna do a few quick doodles of Mr. Kitty and how I want to draw him. I am also just remembering that I'm painting with ashes. I kind of got lost in the sauce thinking this was an art supply and I'm, I'm having the realization of, about what I'm doing. So I'm going to make some more Mr. Kitty tea essentially and we're gonna do some doodling. I say as I completely forget to press record as I make these three adorable and silly Mr. Kitty doodles. I have put down a single wash of our art material still haven't decided what to call it. And as you can see, it's really drying in little patchy areas. It is hard to get a smooth application, probably because it's not an art supply. But I don't know, maybe they'll just add character. Plus these are just doodles. This will get me an idea of a bigger painting that I want to create. I thought it would be cute to add just the color of the eyes because you know what? That pop of a yellow color to a black and white drawing I think will be really nice. Oh, I am being messy though, whoops. Oh God, I'm being so messy. This one right here looks like a weirdly cursed Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm pretty sure this one's my favorite. It's plain, it's simple, but 
It's very Mr. Kitty. So we do have a little bit of leakage from the watercolor into the, the substance. You know what, I'm just gonna refer to it as Mr. Kitty. I'm referring to it as Mr. Kitty from now on. The yellow watercolor leaked into Mr. Kitty. I guess it's just all the best at not reactivating. But to be honest, I kind of like the effect because the way it dried, it kind of looks like little ghosts of Mr. Kitty, which is kind of um, coincidental considering what the art supply is made out of. But anyway, let's go on and start inking Mr. Kitty and adding details. So here we go. <laughs> love these doodles. I'm almost satisfied with just these, but I do think we, oh my God. Okay, I was gonna say, we, we gotta make one big, more contributing drawing for Mr. Kitty, but I just realized my hand has been rubbing up against all of this, what used to be Mr. Kitty. I'm just touching what, what okay, 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 okay. I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> April Fools, if you thought I was actually painting with the ashes of my dead cat, got him? Look, I know it's a thing. People paint with ashes. They send them off for other people to paint with them. You can even turn your pet into a pencil. If that's, if that's what you need to do to cope with your dead pet, good for you. I just, I don't think I could do it. If you still don't believe me, here is a video of me creating uh, what I claim to be Mr. Kitty's ashes. I am painting with a combination of cat litter. Yes, this is actual cat litter and our supplies that I specifically went to the store to make this. So this cat litter had these little black pieces in it and I wanted this to actually look like the ashes of a pet. So I tried to pick out as many as I could. To be honest, it was just an impossible project. So I continued on, I crushed up some black, gray, and white charcoal sticks, hoping to create a powder that would better dissolve. And what I got was gray and white chunks in cat litter. I didn't add the black because it wasn't dissolving at all. And there aren't black chunks in pet ashes. So I just added the white and the gray and none of these things are matching in color. The litter is different. The gray and white charcoal are different. And then I bought the only powder I could find at this art store and I don't even, I think it was actually for clothing, but I knew it was my only chance to get some pigment into this concoction I'm making. So I mixed in some of that powder and I stirred and stirred. I made it a little bit moist. I stirred and stirred. I was hoping there would be some combining of some powders or litter or something, but nothing was mixing together. And what I ended up with was cat litter with art supplies destroyed and thrown into it. So I decided, you know what? People are probably gonna be freaked out by this video anyway. Let's just blur it the entire video so it doesn't look real, so you can't tell if it is real. And it seems more real that I'm censoring something for the sake of other people. So April Fools, if you fell for that, and if you didn't fall for it, uh, great, April Fools, I don't know. Also take a look at everything once it's wet and mixed together. It just looks like black, wet, cold oatmeal. Yum. so much for watching today's video. Did you get April fooled? Let me know in the comments. And also goodbye to all the subscribers I lost because of how horrified you were of this video even maybe being real. It was nice knowing you. Uh, 
Maybe you'll come back one day. Anyways, a huge thank you to my patrons for their monthly support. You guys are the best if you want to become a patron and get access to early videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more. Check out the link to my Patreon in the description below. Thank you guys all so, so much for the support and I will see you in the next video. Bye.